Thanks, Tom. Ten months ago, CBS 7's Tyler Poglich went to speak to a beekeeper about how the drought played a factor in bees' everyday lives last summer. Well, today, Tyler went back out to see how the bees deal with everyday life in this heat. CBS 7's bee sting survivor Tyler Poglich joins us with the latest. Last year, we covered for you how the drought we experience here in West Texas played a major role in bees having a lack of nutrients as well as it being harmful for their bodies. However, that same problem is still going on this summer, but also the added factor of the summer heat. It plays a toll on them. Um, so what happens is these hotter temperatures, um, there's not as much uh, food for them to eat, so they don't have a whole lot of uh, nectar and pollen, and that's kind of typically uh, known as the dearth season. Right now, bees are going through dearth. Just like the famous song Circle of Life, everything does work together. When plants and animals go through dearth, they are deprived of what they need because plants aren't giving off as many nutrients that means bees don't have food. In the hotter months, July, August, especially, um, there's no nectar. There's just no, in the, so the nectar and the pollen is what the bees um, live off of. The nectar is their carbohydrates and then the pollen is their, their protein and then they turn that into to honey. And when bees don't have enough food, they can get hangry just like us humans. So it's best to know the mood of bees so that they are always happy. There, there are certain times that uh, uh, that bees are, are very chilled and very uh, easy to work with, but there are other times that it's best just to leave them alone. So you need to be able to read the, the overall uh, temperament of your bees at the particular time. Katie Briscoe also mentions that some helpful ways you can help the bees out is to leave some bowls with rocks at the bottom, plant a garden, or to leave some spots in your lawn unmowed so that the bees can get their nutrients. Reporting with the bees again, for CBS 7 First Alert News, I'm Tyler Poglich.